America, hello, we have a problem. If it didn't stop after Sandy Hook where children were murdered, why would we expect the government to care about adults when we're murdered? We saw two people go down in front of us, and two women went down behind us, and all you're hearing is gunfire, dot, 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 dot. The striking thing was these victims were incredibly brave. Every time this happens, my heart breaks. Having the experiences that I've had, um, it's pretty easy to get kind of transported back. I turned on the TV, and I saw the faces of people who were me 16 months ago and my heart just broke. I grew up in a, in a small town where guns were like a standard part of life. After experiencing the event that took place at, at my community college, I haven't touched a gun since. The road to recovery from something like that is so dark, it's difficult to describe to people. Would the world be a better place if there weren't guns and firearms? And I think it definitely would be. But is that ever going to be a reality? I don't think so. There is no silver bullet for preventing mass violence and mass shootings because the truth is the people that come into uh, Virginia Tech or Sandy Hook or or the concert that happened uh, October 1st, they do it for different reasons and different motivations. I don't have an opinion. It's the wildest thing because I am, I am surrounded by responsible gun owners. The government won't regulate it because they feel it's taken away from our Second Amendment right. Me as a gun owner, it's not taken away from my right. You're saying, okay, yeah, you can have a gun, but we have provisions in what you can own. I, I can't even fathom what is in the minds of congressional Republicans that would make them think that more access to silencers is the answer to our epidemic. The only thing I can think is that the NRA has its hand so far down the pockets that there isn't any way for them to get out from under it. There need to be people in Congress who are brave enough to stand up and say, you know, this. we need to have this conversation regardless of what their interest groups are telling them. Why are we still having a conversation about background checks when 90% of Americans agree with it? I just don't feel like there's a way to effectively legislate the evil out of this world. The way to combat that isn't through legislation, it's through human connection and behavioral health. Everyone that's had these issues as far as, you know, Pulse, look at Sandy Hook, look at, you know, what just recently happened. There was some type of mental illness, no matter how we slice it, it was mental illness. The fundamental problem to preventing mass violence is that different people have different pieces of the puzzle um, in, in their in their view. So one person will see, you know, someone who's really angry, so one person will see someone buying a lot of weapons, one person will see them acting out in different ways. And so the best way to prevent, I think, is to create uh, ways and tools to collectively organize that information and get people help before they become violent. How can you basically increase the the sort of quotient of goodness in our society to to just overpower and crush the quotient that is on the opposite end? It shouldn't take Sandy Hook. It shouldn't take Las Vegas. We should be so motivated by the fact that we love and care for each other that we are willing to protect each other. What it comes down to is in an American society, there, it should not be possible for one person to kill and injure almost 600 people in a matter of minutes. That's just something that should not be acceptable.